from the blood donor centre, the fresh blood is taken to the laboratories, some of it for storage, some of it for processing. The blood to be stored is put into refrigerators at 4 degrees C, where it will keep for up to 28 days. A lot of the blood is processed to get different useful components out of it. First, it's put into a centrifuge and whirled round at about 2,000 revolutions per minute for a short time. This separates out some of the heavier constituents of the blood, which will end up at the bottom of the bags. The dark layer at the bottom is where all the red corpuscles have collected. This layer is often used to provide sick or injured people with a concentrated dose of red cells. You can also see a thin layer of shining material on top of this red layer. This contains the blood platelets, which have to do with blood clotting. The blood in one single pack from one donor may go to as many as four different patients. For example, this clear yellow liquid, the blood plasma, is very valuable for people who've suffered serious burns or scalds. 